Okay, here's um, here's the latest on the little uh, Bedini Lib Motor project. I got a new device for it. It's called a switching regulator, an adjustable switching regulator, and it allows you to take um, 12 volts and step it down to whatever you want. In this case, I have it at about 2.75 volts, and it's just this little thing here that you can adjust with a little screw right here to bring your voltage from one uh, power source uh, down to another supply voltage without losing too much and um, this is the stats on it. It's 1.25 volts to 10 volts up to 1 amp and it's 90 percent efficient. Now the other stuff I've tried they get real hot and you lose uh, ener energy through the heat and they're not that efficient. This was a real winner here and look what it did to my amperage draw on this motor. It cut it in half and what that's allowed me to do is um, there's the solar panel out there and uh, that's 135 milliamp, a 2 watt uh, solar panel that I'm running from early morning to late afternoon and it's putting enough energy into this that I can run this motor pretty much non-stop I figure I haven't tried it yet but it also um, there's enough in there to charge up this uh, nickel metal hydride uh, uh, battery pack which uh, I've already tested the little motor out and it runs for 24 hours on that so anyway that's the latest on this and this uh, this little guy here was the real winner um, it, it this motor uh, likes what comes out of that real well it runs uh, smoother, faster, and when I take the battery out of the system, just use the capacitor, it runs twice as fast, and the capacitor sits at 19 volts off that little panel, so whatever's going on in there, it's uh, it's got some circuitry in there. Um, it's very, very effective. I highly recommend it. I got it from uh, Dimension Engineering online and ordered it. It was not very expensive and uh, very effective for small projects like this. I recommend it. But uh, I still run the motor the same way. I've got power going into it from this side. Runs through the Bedini circuit. Um, and then I feed the energy that's captured on the back side into these supercapacitors. It's not much, but it, it holds it quite well. And then I feed it back into the permanent magnet motor in this system to help run that rotor and uh, it, it seems to work real good. Um, I'm just anxious to see how long this thing will go. Of course it depends on sunlight and how big a storage um, battery you've got. This this to me is just like a sponge and the better the sponge you got the more you can hold and then uh, distribute it back into your system. But what I'm going for here is coefficient of performance, COP and uh, I've kind of gone away from the over unity, the, the um, whole Bedini crowd thing of trying to get something to self run and all that. I just want something that runs efficiently and uh, this is my latest uh, stab at it here.